think about yesterday Your smile, your style so fly My, oh my As time stood still I got the urge to steal a kiss And so I did Now I'm embarrassed But just a little bit Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're doing well. Welcome to another video and welcome to another weekly vlog. I am very excited to sit down and start this vlog today. Let me just preface this. My son is awake and he is very much talkative today. So if you guys hear him in the background, don't mind that. But um, let me just go through the books that I'm in the middle of, the books I plan on reading this week and my just general plans for this vlog as a whole. So I want this to be more a, of a productivity vlog than necessarily just reading. I have a bunch of stuff that I want to get done this week. Um, some stuff that's work related, some stuff that is book related, and some stuff that's just like me personal related. I also want to get some writing done this week. So I have lofty goals for the second week of uh, April. I was going to say August. The second week of April, but let's jump into my reading plans. So I am currently in the middle of three books right now. One on my Kindle and two um, physical reads. Well, physical and audio. And that is Forget Me Not by Julie Soto. I am 200 pages into this one and loving it. And then I'm also actively reading House of Bane and Blood by Alexis L. Menard. Uh, and this has been my audiobook tune from work. And I am 200 pages into this one. This is a Peaky Blinders um, fantasy romance. And I'm enjoying that one as well. I'm also reading Freestyle um, by B. Page. This is a Why Choose dance romance. And I started this one at the tail end of last month. And I've just been slowly making my way through this one. I do not have an audiobook for this particular book. So it's my Kindle read. It's also my Kindle um, pick for my spinner wheel for the month of April as well. So I'm working my way through that. And then my other plans for the rest of the week is just to film a separate vlog. So that's why this video is going to be more productivity because the books that I'm going to talk about are all books in, an in another vlog. So if I read any other books that are not a part of that vlog, I'll include them in this vlog. If not, then you'll see these books in my TBR bingo video. But that is Blitz by Debbie Perry, Foxglove by Adeline Grace, Cruel Seduction by Katie Roberts, and Hawk by Jesse Hall. So that's going to be my focus for the second half of uh, the second week of April. I don't know why I can't talk this morning, but like I said, I do want to get some writing done. I have a lot of stuff I have to do for work, uh, as in like homework, not work work. I have a bunch of stuff I need to work on for my author, so I'm going to focus on that this week since we have a meeting set up next week and I want to get ahead of schedule. And then I need to get some pictures and reels made and taken for uh, the week coming. So I'm just trying to get a little, ahead of, a little ahead of schedule in regards to content for my author and that'll be my goal for this week. So I'm going to bring you along. Hopefully you enjoy the vlog. Happy Tuesday because today is Tuesday and I will see you guys in a little bit. Yeah? Who is that? Who is that? Is that Orion? Okay, you want to get down? Da. Can I have a kiss? Mm -hmm. Okay, bye-bye. You want to get back up? <laughs> Am I supposed to save you? Da. Get down there. <laughs> hey. Da -da. Where's Dada? Da -da. Da -da. Where's Dada? Friends, I want you to know how brave I'm being because I'm vlogging, but there's a person sitting literally right next to me. <laughs> I don't like that. Anyways, I got another lavender chai. If you guys have been following my vlogs, you guys know I'm obsessed. I'm literally obsessed. So, 
I just wanted to share with you guys that I got another one and I will continue to order them until the season is over and then I will promptly cry about it. So that's it. That's my only update. Bye. <laughs>
already have mapped out in my head and write it down get it on the page and that will help motivate me to write more so my goal today is to outline I don't know if I'm gonna get a lot of writing done when I get home from work but outlining is my major goal just to get the beats set down right now I'm like I'm a pantser if we're if we're throwing out writing terms I have no like set outline for this story I have certain things that I know I want to achieve toward at the end of the book and in the middle of the book and in the center of the book not center in the, in the first half like beginning of the book that was confusing um but I just don't know exactly where all those things are going to line up and how I'm going to get there and I think I just need to figure that out before continuing to write some more so that's that uh reading updates I finished House of Bait and Blood last night and I really enjoyed this one it was such an interesting fun fantasy romance read I wasn't expecting to um enjoy it as much as I did I mean yes I did but like I don't know something about this story was intriguing to me but also kind of scary because I don't really read books that are set in this time period but overall it didn't feel its time period which is usually my complaint when I read books like this um overall I just really enjoyed the romance I enjoyed the fantasy aspects I enjoyed the magic I enjoyed these two characters and how much they were willing to sacrifice for each other um it was a very fun you know play on a marriage of convenience and watching these two characters who didn't want anything to do with each other really learn to love each other was absolutely beautiful and it definitely left off on a cliff cliffhanger so I'm excited for book two I'm really curious to see what I'm going to think of it and I have no idea really where it's going it has left this world very very open for a lot of different things and a very interesting forward progression of this plot so I'm curious to see what I'm gonna think when I get to book two that one comes out in on May 1st I don't know if the audiobook comes out on May 1st so that will determine whether or not I pick this one up ASAP or if I wait for the audiobook to come out but I did really enjoy it and uh, I'm excited to have started another series <laughs> Yeah. So my plans for today in regards to reading, I'm going to see if anyone is using the Libro of Them account. If they are, I will pick something else up. If not, I'm going to be reading Forget Me Not by Julie Soto. My goal is to finish that one up today. I don't have very much left on the audiobook, so if I can finish that one up today, get it off my plate, and then I can focus on other things this week, that would be great. So those are my current updates. I'm going to try to get some editing done in the 20 minutes that I have before my son comes in, and I will chat with you guys in a little bit. Also, just another quick little update. I'm going to try to cover this as much as I can. But um, I, this is today. Obviously, I haven't written anything. But yesterday, my pages per day was 122 words. And because I writ wrote so much, it went down by a little bit. So I will take that. I don't know if it was 122 or if it was more than that. But it was more. And I brought it down with as many words as I wrote yesterday. So that's exciting. I'm happy about that. I do have the set to finish this by the end of the year. So it's a very small word count for the day. Nothing crazy. I didn't want to push myself too hard, but I definitely did want to get this done before the end of the year. I do not want to take this one into another year. So we shall see. Am I just sunshine and pink clouds and the sky and everything is Besties, hi! Time for another card update. You guys know how much I love these. They have become my new favorite thing. Um, I am in public and people are probably going to look at me, but I'm just going to pretend like I don't see them. But, um, hi. Happy Wednesday afternoon. I think I said Tuesday this morning when I was talking to you guys. <laughs> yeah, that's how tired I am. <laughs> but I just wanted to like share a little bit about, um, my day today, <laughs> I went to lunch and I had the best freaking lunch at this cute little small, like, um, I think it was like more like fusion Asian cuisine, but it was like a noodle house and it was so good. It was so good. I had dumplings and spicy noodles and it was delicious. I have my leftovers. It does not look appetizing, so don't look at it, but I do have some leftovers that I'm excited to take home. My husband will probably eat them because he loves a good leftover and I am um, meh. I'm indifferent about leftovers. I'll eat them, but I don't prefer them. You know what I mean? So uh, I just wanted to share, like, it was just the cutest little place and the staff was so nice and you ordered everything like on your phone. Like literally you scan the QR code, you order everything on your phone and then she just brings it to you. And I was like, well, that's hella convenient. I love it when I don't have to do anything or talk to anybody. <laughs> My little home body in me was like, yes. <laughs> and then I went to Amazon Fresh to drop off a duplicate book. The crazy thing is, that is the second book in this series that I've accidentally bought two copies of. I don't know how it happened. On two separate occasions, 
not just once but twice I bought an extra copy of Echoes of You which I ended up sending to Nikki because she wanted to collect the hardcovers of that series and I had an extra one so I sent it her way and then I accidentally ordered an extra copy of Glimmers of You and I don't know how and, and it showed up on two different days like one got ordered and then another one got ordered and I don't know how it happened basically what I'm trying to tell you is somebody take away my Amazon account because <laughs> the way that the money is just flying out the window is just insane so I went and dropped that back off because I don't need another copy and Nikki already has all the copies of the books in that series and I'm just I'm disappointed in myself honestly truly um and I had to stop, stop myself from buying a drink in there even though I don't need one I have water sitting at the office do I want to drink it no will I probably but anyways that is your uh daily reminder to hydrate um I do have water right here I don't know why I'm acting like I'm you know deprived of liquids i just really wanted something sweet <laughs> and i'm trying to tell myself i do not need another starbucks chai latte okay <laughs> but um anyways i'm gonna go because this person is literally staring at me and i need to get back to work even though i really don't want to oh reading updates <laughs> i'm reading forget me not by julie soto i'm really close to the end i am loving it and i can't wait to see what caused all of this because now at this point i just need to know Tell me all the details. Tell me what I'm missing because obviously I'm missing something. <laughs> okay. So anyways, I'm having a great time. I'm live, laugh, loving. I'm so tired. If you're wondering why this is chaos, it's because I'm fucking delirious. I don't, I know that waking up early is great for me. I know that. My brain does not want to get with the program. I'm crashing and I'm crashing hard. I crashed at eight o'clock in the morning. Send help is basically what I'm saying. But I will I get up tomorrow at six o'clock? I'm gonna try. <laughs> I was gonna say yes, but Lord only knows. I might just lay in my bed and never get out. So, anyways, I'm gonna go to work now. Bye. Imagine stars lighting up the night and a shooting star so vibrant. You have to make a wish. Nothing's ever in your way. Scoring every shot you make. No, you've never heard of pain because you're just high on life. Every day is Saturday, life is sweetest birthday cake, why can't it just stay this way? Totally peaceful mind Never need a second try Know you get it right the very first time It could be the best of days It could be the best of times Why do we need the troubles? Why? Why do we need the troubles? Why? Nothing's ever in your way Good morning, besties. Another 6 a.m. wake up, which is a miracle. It's a miracle. Because <laughs> yesterday, after I talked to you guys, and told you I was live, laugh, loving. I stopped live, laugh, loving, okay? <laughs> I uh, was, in fact, dying a little bit inside and on the outside, maybe too. I don't really know, but it was not ideal. It was not an ideal situation for me on a Wednesday evening, okay? Yeah. I uh, caught some weird coughing bug. I don't know what it was. Um, when I tell you, let me just give you context. I hate with the vehement passion cough drops okay i hate them i think they taste gross i don't think they do anything okay i'm sure there is science behind it listen i'm not a scientist don't i don't don't take my by my advice i just that's not what i'm here for but they usually don't work for me okay i broke down and popped one of those suckers in so fast i was struggling i was fighting for my life <sighs> but anyways i think i'm getting sick again if you guys have been following my vlogs, you know, I just got over being sick twice. So I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on with my immune system. It's low. It's shot. It's fucking fighting for its life. It's doing a lot. And none of it is good for me. None of it is helpful for this person right here. Okay. So um, I almost didn't get up this, er this early this morning, but I'm really trying to stick to my healthy habits. But the way that I want to give up is it's high. It's, it's up there, along with my mental sanity. <sighs> I don't know. 
I'm just, <laughs> I'm sorry to be a negative Nancy. I mean, I'm having a great time. I'm just great. I'm just great. Um, <clears throat> I also had a really, really, really bad headache yesterday, like terrible. So I just, by the end of the night, I popped into Tylenol and I laid in bed and I had an absolutely emotional breakdown. Not because I was not feeling well, not because I had a headache, but because Isaac and I are currently watching season 27, 26 of the challenge. And if you guys are at all <clears throat> uh, challenge people, um, you know that one of the um, main couples, I won't say who it is in case you, I mean, I guess it's not like it's a spoiler. She, she died. Um, this is not like a TV series. This is real life. These people have had real lives. And one of the, the contestants on there passed away from cancer. And I knew this was coming. I, I, I was very much aware of what was happening. Um, but it was like, this was the season that it really hit me. Like, oh my God, like she, she died. And then I went down a rabbit hole <laughs> of reading all of the statements from all the challenge competitors and from her on again, off, off again boyfriend. And I just laid on my bed at 1030 in the evening, sobbing like a baby, sobbing, just <laughs> uncontrollably <laughs> by myself, mind you, because Isaac was already asleep by the time I went down this rabbit hole and I was just sitting there like... <laughs> Um, this is not funny. Like, I'm not laughing because she died. Like, I was literally, I'm distraught over it. Um, I'm laughing because, like, I just, like, lost my mind. Like, I was just, like, so, and, like, this happened almost 10 years ago. Um, so it's not like it's fresh or new, but, like, as somebody that is watching the challenge for the first time, like, you just grow to love these characters, not these characters, these people, so much. Um, and then, like, it just broke my heart, so... I did have an emotional breakdown last night and I texted Dana and I was like, I'll never emotionally recover. Like, I just feel so terrible. Like when you watch a TV show and you are, you know, with these people, when they die, yeah, it hurts. It hurts really bad because like you go attached to these characters and the characterization on the show. But I feel like I, I, I've never like really watched a reality TV show where someone has passed away. Um, and like, this is not fake. This is real life. Like these people had dreams and aspirations and wants and desires and uh, it was just so like sad to watch the season where she's talking about like winning this money and getting back on her feet and starting a family and you know doing all the things that she had planned on and all the things that she wanted to do and then you just watch her take a turn for the worst and know that several months after that she you know lost her battle with cancer it was just so sad I'm so sorry this is taking such a depressing turn but I was just I'm trying to get you in the mental space of where I was yesterday and I was really struggling so I stayed up for like an hour and a half crying uh, <laughs> I'm just this is how I know that the mental space is not my, my not in the best state because <clears throat> I should not I should not have tortured myself with those dang statements it was the statements that took me out I, I read her on again off again boyfriend statement and it, it broke me it broke me in half right down the middle never to be repaired again and um i don't know it was just so sad i'm gonna stop talking about this because i could literally i could cry right now and i could go on about it for like three hours because believe me it was all going up up here by myself on my own okay uh anyways reading <laughs> Oh, all of that to say, I was not productive yesterday. I didn't do anything. I sat on my bed and I watched the challenge and I tried to drink my wine, but it went bad. So, you know, whatever. It was fine. I didn't really need the wine. And um, yeah, I just, I couldn't muster up the energy to literally do anything. I didn't look at a book. I didn't look at my computer. I didn't even come to my desk. I just laid on my bed all night long. And it was, it was great. Was what, as great as it could have been but let's talk about reading because i did finish a book yesterday and that is forget me not by julie Settle. um i liked this a lot i love this i didn't give it a five star hear me out hear me out i just that past and present timeline and not really getting the um male main character elliot's perspective until the very very end just it dampened the experience for me because i really 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 wanted to know his experience in the present and i think that i i and many of readers readers out there have been spoiled by the fact that we get so many books that have dual timelines i mean uh, sorry dual perspectives and so you're seeing everything from both ends of the spectrum in most books now um and 
the fact that we were getting it but not getting the real-time experience just held me back from absolutely loving this book but that being said I gave it a 4.5 I liked it so much it was such a good book it was so amazing it was so well written I was on the edge of my seat on the last like 30 minutes of this uh, book because the wedding aspect of it was definitely getting out of this character's hands and I was stressed for her I wanted the best for her and everything that she had worked so hard for and that was beyond stressful but overall uh, I just think that it was a fun spring perfect like seasonal read that brought me to laughter brought me to a little bit of tears you know um and then the understanding of the countdown aspect of this book was just so beautifully well done i really enjoyed it these two characters worked really well together and i loved seeing their chemistry on page and seeing them work so well together in a um professional setting was also really beautiful and i just don't feel like you see that very often like two people working together that make it work regardless of the things that went on in their past and I just I really enjoyed it so 4.5 out of 5 stars not a bad reading at all obviously such a good rating such a good book definitely one that I will recommend definitely one that I can see myself rereading and I'm really glad that I picked this one up so uh, I also I don't know why it didn't click in my head but like Karina also loved that book and I just I feel like our tastes align so well when it comes to romance along with all the other besties I feel like we all just read so similarly and love so many similar books um and so the fact that she loved this one and I also love this one just makes it like the cherry on top of the cake you know what I mean um so this is a long clip and most of it was just chaos so I apologize I hope that you guys are liking the more chatty uh, in-depth vlogs that uh have a little bit of chaos incarnate <laughs> <laughs> um but I'm going to sit down for the last 10 minutes finish up editing this vlog um and get caught up so that I'm not behind and then I want to plan a sit down video because I haven't done one of those in a long time not because I don't enjoy them anymore it's just I have been so busy trying to get other things done that sitting down and editing a video right now has just been a little hard vlogs have been a little easier for me so my plan is to do that because I would like to get back on track with sit down videos I have a bunch of them like like mapped out of things that I could do um things that would be easy for me to sit down and give you guys recs on I just haven't had the chance to do it so I'm gonna sit down now plan which one I want to do for today and then I will get back to you guys later on today with the reading update I don't know what I'm gonna pick up yet I'm either going to pick up Shadows of You by um Catherine Cowles which is the next book in the Lost and Found series or I'm gonna start my uh, TBR bingo vlog and pick up maybe Hawk or Cool Seduction so I don't know what I'm going to read yet. If I end up reading one of the books in my TBR bingo vlog, I will not give you guys any more further updates on books. It'll just be a productivity blog, blog, vlog from here on out, but I will let you guys know. So, bye. <laughs> yeah. I wish I had the same delusion that I do when I was two and didn't think that I could ruin anything at all i could never fall i wish i had that same conviction convinced i never needed to fix it and that's all that i knew her business just decided that this is my new favorite place i gotta get like a tripod tripod stand thingy my bobby for my car i bought one but it didn't work so i gotta get a new one but i'm just i love it i love the chaos that comes with sitting in a car i don't know what it is about my brain and my mind but it works really well when you sit in the car i mean i don't know if well is the word i would use but it's it's something um i just wanted to give you a small update first of all i started shadows of you by katherine cows because i needed joy I need to enjoy it and I'm already getting it. Yeah, I'm so, <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> that cough is coming back in full force, but I'm obsessed already and I just started it. So I love that for me. Also, The Queen. 
Miss Olivia Reed's Latte. I was watching a recent vlog of hers. It could have been her two hour vlog. It could have been the one that she just recently posted. I don't know. I've been catching up with her content because her vlogs are long <laughs> and I love them. I eat that shit up, but sometimes I just don't have time to sit down for an hour and 45 minutes, you know? But whatever vlog I just recently watched, she talked about a uh, perfume oil that she had picked up. Not an oil, but like a perfume that's a roller. Thank you. That she recently picked up and she's like, oh my God, it smells so good. So I was in Target just a second ago because I went to go grab some stuff for my boss. Um, it's his birthday tomorrow, but he's not going to be in tomorrow. So I got him like a cake for today. That's what I'm doing. I'm sitting in the parking lot waiting for nothing but cakes to open. They open at nine. And um, anyways, that was such a tangent. Regardless of the point, I was in Target to pick up plates and candles and I saw it. I was walking by and I was like, oh, that was the one that Olivia talked about. So I picked one of them up and I smelled it and I was like, you're coming home with me. <laughs> So I bought it. Thanks, Olivia. Um, I definitely needed to spend more money today because obviously. Um, it wasn't a book though. I told myself I wasn't a book buying fan, not an everything else fan. I need to be. Will I listen to myself? No, no, I will not. But it smells so good. Oh my God, I don't even know how to explain it. I don't even know what it is, honestly. It just says, joy and bliss, solar fleur, glow on perfume oil. Oh, it is an oil. Did I say glow on? It does say glow on, okay. I don't know what it is though. Joy and Bliss is great, but I don't know what the actual like scents are. I was gonna say flavors. You do not eat this, Kehlani, um, but it is the Being Fresh brand. And I don't know, I'm just excited to try it. I have been wearing the same perfume for probably six years and it's time for a change. I need to fix it. I need to switch it up. I need to add some variety into my life, so. That is my current update. I'm gonna run into nothing but cake, bunt cakes, nothing but bunt cakes, and pick out a cake for him. I don't know what flavor I'm gonna get. I don't even know what I'm doing, but I figured it'd be better than like a Ralph's cake. Cause I got one, I got a Ralph's cake for my last birthday, office birthday, and it wasn't great. So we're switching it up. We're changing up the theme. I'm hoping that they have forks and knives that I can buy there because Target was for some reason out. I don't know why. How are you out of plastic forks and knives? Whatever, it's besides the point. I'm gonna go in there and pick out a flavor and hopefully it's good and hopefully he likes it if not i tried <laughs> was wrong for me and i wish somebody would have issued a warning no they did but i kept ignoring didn't want to have to face it but if i don't I know it's gonna break me oh yeah she thought she could do anything that she could get anywhere confident she's number one and if nothing else to become now i can't remember how i used to do it that i just remember a confidence love because that don't last forever friends desperate times call for desperate measures and i am so freaking tired that i caved and i got a mcdonald's coffee i never drink mcdonald's coffee mostly because i just don't freaking like it but i needed something i needed to pick me up i needed something so i'm gonna shake this baby up and get me some extra caffeine because the way that I am crashing so hard today is absurd. Wondering if it is going to flow Now that I've packed all my things Is there anything else that you can know? Yeah, all that shit that I can't When the package is heavy Maybe I got me some work Hey, besties. The way that I want to throw my entire TBR out the window and pick up a fantasy romance is sick it's sickening but i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna stick to my guns and i'm gonna read the books that i'm supposed to be reading because i also really want to finish my tbr tarot this month and i want to get to my tbr bingo vlog but i have decided that i'm going to start that vlog when i finish this one that way i can use all the b-roll that needs to go in that video in that video and i don't get confused and i don't you know mix videos because i don't have the brain cells to do two vlogs at once okay i thought about it and then I quickly dismissed the idea <laughs> because honestly, just, just no. Um, I have some updates. Shadows of You by Katherine Cowles. I am reading this and loving this. I don't know how far into it I am. I have not updated my bookmark since listening to it on my way home and on my lunch, I think. Um, but overall, loving it, eating it up, having a great time, living my best life. Yes, yes, yes. Roan? This man, he's so broody, he's so mysterious, he's so tortured. My favorite kind of book boyfriend, okay? <laughs> I just eat that shit up. If he is growly and never says words to people and is mean to everybody except for you, that's the man that I want to read about, okay? Thank you. So I'm just having a gosh darn good time and I cannot wait to finish it up. I am not going to read this though. 
as we continue through the night because I need to get some Kindle reading done. This book right here, not that one. Um, <laughs> uh, freestyle, haunting me. Haunting me because I need to finish it. And I am enjoying it. It's just been such a slow pickup for me. I'm only 49% of the way through. I definitely 100% need to get to it ASAP. So I'm going to sit down now, pick up my Kindle, stop being a little bitch, and get some Bible reading done. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm going to try, try my best, to get to like 70%. That would be 20%. Can I do it? Who knows? Um, I'm going to start this chapter over because I did try to read it a little while ago and it was not working for me. It was not working for me. But I'm going to put these eyeballs to work and use them brain cells. Having a hard time. Anyways, uh, I'm going to go read this and I will update you guys either later on tonight or in the morning when I drag my sorry ass out of bed. I tried to be your everything, gave my everything I sold out. Now just look at me, all my goals with nothing left. Hollow, emptied out, but got lost, can't be found. You stole. Every bit of me, now I can't remember Ooh, who I am, what I like, what I do, what I'm like, when without you Ooh, should've known you're too good to be true You don't come around here no more Why'd you have to let me go, let me go, go, go Good morning, besties! I know I look so stylish you don't have to tell me but thank you for the compliment <laughs> i appreciate that uh if you hear the sirens in the background i apologize but i have very little time to give you guys updates so i have one reading update um and then we'll jump into today what's today friday thank god i hope those people or persons are okay because that was a lot of sirens i literally sat here for a minute and a half waiting for the sirens to die down like i really hope those people are okay oh my goodness but um I was productive this morning. I got up at 6. I'm still not feeling great. I'm feeling a little under the weather, uh, but not quite sick yet. I don't know if it's allergies. I don't know if it's an actual cold. I don't know what it is, but I'm not feeling my best. But I did get up at 6, and I got some editing done. And then I also sat up um, a shot for my author and got a photo done for that. So that was good. And <clears throat> I got that all figured out. And I'm going to get like the edit, I'm mean, sorry, the copy done for today. And that's going to go up a little bit later. And I did get some reading done last night. So I did sit down and read 20%, which was my goal of freestyle last night. I got to 70% of the book and I'm very proud of myself. It was a struggle. It was a struggle because that last like 4%, I was so tired. Like I said, I'm not really feeling my best. So I was exhausted yesterday and um, not feeling great. So I was surprised I got as much reading done as I did, but I am 70% of the way through. I'm still enjoying it. I think that my enjoyment of the, ser uh, the book itself has waned a little bit. I don't know if that's because I've taken so long to read it or if I'm just like waiting for something to happen because I'm 70% into the book. We've had like very little conversations between the men um because of the hate that they have towards each other we've seen little bits and pieces of like sexual tension but like for the most part we haven't really gotten any answers we don't really know what's going on um i have a better idea now of like why they might have broken up their friendship um but all of that has come from the past timeline if you guys know anything about me you know i don't really love a past and a present timeline uh, unless it's like well done and I'm not saying it's not well done I'm just feeling like there's something missing from the story and I'm not getting the full account of what I should be in regard to these characters so I'm hoping the last 20% will pull through and I will get everything that I wanted out of the story uh we shall see today is Friday so I'm hoping that by the time when I get home that by the time Isaac gets home and everything is you know all squared away we will have time to watch an episode of the challenge which Will hurt my soul because uh, this is the episode uh and then i will read the rest of freestyle that way i can get a, a move on some of the other books that i need to read physically aka my kindle because the way i am not gonna pull out a physical book right now is <laughs> it's absurd um <clears throat> and then <laughs> so i do i started like this little in-person book club with two of my friends um and we picked a book for next month which it sounds really good it's a romantic suspense by pam godwin it's 600 pages. No audiobook. <laughs> yeah, I am not live laugh loving. Thank you for asking. Uh, I'm excited for that. 
I have until mid-May though, so I might start it after I get through some of the rest of my physical reads because I still need to read Broken Perfect Lies and Writer by Sadie Rose, and then I can get to um, <clears throat> the Pamphlet one book, which I'll put the picture up on the screen. It looks gorgeous. The synopsis, it sounds really good. It's a darker um, romance expense romance. I think it has to do with like abduction and kidnapping, and I'm about that life. I'm just not about the eyeball life. I really just, I like my audiobooks. Sue me, okay? Sue me. So my son's about to come in like any minute now. So I'm going to get ready for family cuddles. And I will talk to you guys when I have some type of productive update. Oh, I didn't do any outlining. That's going to be my goal for this weekend is to outline this dang book. So I might, I've seen Katie uh, from Katie Whisper. I'll leave her channel link down below. I've seen her do this before um, on her vlogs where she gets post not posted notes but postcards and writes down like the beats of the story and it helps her visualize the story a little bit better when it's written down on paper and you can move everything around and so i think i might try to do that so i hear orion coming so i'm gonna go love you guys talk to you later what is one thing that i do every day you ask that is watch miss rachel every single day if you're a parent you get it because honestly the amount of miss rachel that i know the amount of Miss Rachel that is swimming around in my head is absurd. But Orion loves it. Don't mind the laundry. Orion, though, he loves Miss Rachel. So, whatever, as long as it makes him happy. Well, friends, Catherine has done it again. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> uh, maybe I'm just.
just like an emotional mess right now because it's been a long week, but don't mind the sniffles. I'm having a hard time. Um, she just knows how to pull on those heartstrings and make you depressed. <laughs> um, I really like this story. <laughs> I think that everything that I've been waiting for for these two characters, because you've seen them quite a bit as a story, as, as these, the series has continued, this is what they deserved. Um, you know, like when you just read two couples that two people that just are meant to be together um, in ways that you never expected. <laughs> I'm just going to stop talking because I'm, I'm a mess. Um, I'm loving it. <laughs> I will give you my updates. I'm almost done uh, when I am in less of an emotional crisis. So anyways, I just want to let you know it's good. Okay. <laughs> well, I think it's safe to say that I loved it. <laughs> oh my god. That? <laughs> so good. These two characters together were literally everything. Um, they just loved each other so much and were there for each other in the ways that they needed to be and really understood each other in just the best ways. And the little girl, Katie, <laughs> it was just everything about it from the beginning to the end was beautiful and uh, well, <laughs> I loved it. I don't even think I told you guys what this was about. <laughs> this one follows Ro uh, Rowan and Aspen. Aspen has been living in Cedar Ridge for five years after something very terrible has happened in her past. And she has her young daughter, she's a single mom. And um, she ends up meeting Rowan after a deer is like in Aspen's yard. She's really hurt and she needs help. And Rowan runs the like animal protection situation alongside a bunch of other things he's law enforcement he's not a cop but he's law enforcement so he does quite a few things in this town but he meets to come help he meets with aspen to come help with the deer and um they end up creating a relationship from there katie ends up like falling in love with him on the spot calls him <laughs> mr grizz because he's so grumpy he, um rowan has a very Mm, tumultuous past with this town the people of this town uh, you find that out in the very first book in the series um so I won't spoil it if you guys want to go read the first book in the series but he's definitely the town pariah for many reasons and he is definitely like a gruff very closed off man he doesn't really talk to most people he is very standoffish he doesn't laugh he doesn't talk he doesn't do anything until he meets Aspen and she just really blows his world wide open and she ends up being in a very particular situation that requires protection and Rowan steps in and is like I'm gonna just stay with you I'm gonna protect you I'm gonna protect you and your girl and um they fall in love from there and it's so good the small town aspects of the series is just so beautiful and i feel like you fall in love with the family and the small town um antics even more as you continue on with the series because you learn to love these characters in different ways and as you see them continually come up throughout the series it's like you know how much you love them and then watching roan who has been through so much fall in love with aspen was just it was everything that I could have wanted from that book and more. And now I'm literally so excited for Ashes of You, which is Law's story. I've been waiting for Law's story forever. He is the um, chief of police and he has sworn off love. His past, um, I don't know if it was his wife or his girlfriend, really, really screwed him up. And he's like, I'm never doing that again. Um, but he's also a single dad to three kids and he needs help. He needs a nanny. He hires his nanny. And of course, it's going to be a relationship between the two of them. So I'm really excited for that one. I don't know if I'm going to be able to read it this month. I'm going to try. If I can finish up that series this month, that would be great. I also need to read the novella, which I think is like Visions of You, maybe? Visions of You. It's like really, really short. I do own the audiobook and the ebook. It's free on Catherine Cowell's website. So I hope to read that soon, too, so I can officially finish up this entire series. But anyways, that was my update. I loved it. It was so good. Five stars. It's my first five star in the series since the first book in the series, Whispers of You, which is my favorite so far. And then this is coming in a very, very close second. I love this book so much. So anyways, there's that. I'm going to log this in, see how much longer I'm going to get to myself before my son wakes up because it's getting close to time for him to wake up from his nap. And I will check in with you guys when I decide what I'm going to read next because I still don't know. I would just like to share with you the aftermath of me filming a book haul. This is absurd. I need to stop. 
tell me to stop. Also, the dogs are so loud. I'm so sorry. But this is... <sighs> and I keep wondering why I'm broke. I keep wondering why I'm broke, huh? Okay, I'm gonna clean all of this up and hopefully get some reading done before Orion wakes up from his nap. <laughs>
Hello friends, it's time for another reading update. Happy Sunday, the last day of this vlog. And I'm excited to share with you my reading updates because I did the damn thing. I finally sat down and finished Freestyle by B Page and I really enjoyed it. I gave it a 3.5 out of 5 stars. It wasn't my favorite Why Choose that I've ever read. I do think that the um, tail end of the book was a lot more um, intense and very like engaging than the first half of the book but i still feel like for a first book in a waichu series there wasn't enough of the character building in the present between these characters that i really needed to like fall in love with them uh, i can definitely see why they fell in love in the past timeline i think that it is very clear that their friendship turned into a lot more and i can see the angst and the sexual tension between them in the present but it just wasn't enough like character building between the characters as a whole in book one uh that being said this is a five book series uh six if you count a little novella after but i don't know if that actually follows the main characters of the story because i don't want to read that far into the synopsis but um i'm assuming that it's going to give a lot more than um what it was you know giving in this first book and there's a lot of room for growth for these characters it just wasn't like a brand new fave like i enjoyed it i will definitely continue on with the series when i get the one need your desire to pick up a kindle book but it's not going to be like a new favorite something that i'm going out recommending all the time and like rushing to pick up book two so it did leave off on a cliffhanger um that i'm definitely curious about because this could be like a make or break scene for them uh, even though it does deal with some uh interesting situations i think depending on how this is written it could dip its toe into consensual non-consent which is not really my favorite thing to read about but we shall see also i did pick up another book it is a reread for me and i am rereading fourth wing by rebecca yaros i love this book so much and there's a bunch of us that are sitting down to not sitting down but there's a bunch of us that are coming together to reread or read for the first time fourth wing and i'm just so excited to pick this back up i love this book so much i'm 72 pages in and i'm listening to the graphic audios and there's just something magical about this story because every time i pick it up i remember why i love it so much so i'm excited about that there's not much to talk about it is a reread for me uh and i feel like everybody and their mother knows what fourth thing is so i'm not gonna go into it but i'm excited for that i have some stuff i want to get done today um i would like to get myself presentable get laundered and uh, freshly showered and then i want to get some outlining done for the book so i've been meaning to do that all week and i haven't done it um and then i would like to work out today if my body will let me i have this like really nasty cough and so i don't want to push myself too hard but if i can just like walk on the treadmill for 30 minutes like that's better than no movement at all so i'll take it um and then i have a video that's about to go up right now i just need to do the thumbnail for that and then if i could finish outlining and get some writing done that would be ideal but we shall see what i'm able to get done so i'm proud of myself for finishing my ebook but that means i can start a new ebook to get like done on the side if i ever have the time at the end of the day um to read my kindle i think i'm gonna pick up broken perfect lies because that's the one that's actually on my tbr for the month and i need to get working on that one um and then if i have time then i'll read writer which is on my 24 and 2024 and my goal is to read at least one book or i'm sorry two books in my 24 and 2024 every single month i don't actually know what my other book is have i already read it <laughs> i don't even know um what is the second book that's on my 24 and 2024 for this oh it's writer and perfect book and perfect lies so i was like what is it the one that i am going to read next so if i can get those two done that'd be great but broken perfect lies is on my tbr tarot so uh, yes <laughs> that was a bunch of nonsense but i'm going to hop in the shower um and fill out my bullet journal hop in the shower and then whatever else i can get done today great if not it is what it is <laughs> Hello friends, happy Monday. Yes, Monday. I'm coming here to close out this vlog. It has been such a fun week. I feel like it was such a productive week for me. So many things got done. Not everything that I wanted to get done got done, but I made progress in a lot of things. And progress is progress. I mean, honestly, I will take any progress, I, any forward progress that I can get 
in any of the things that I'm endeavoring to do on a weekly basis. So I feel like it was a pretty good week. But let me just quickly go over my thoughts on my books. I will do one last writing update and then um, we will close out this vlog. So let's just go through the writing update really quick since easy and simple. I didn't write anything more <laughs> than the last time I talked to you. I wrote those 2,000, almost 3,000 words in that one day, and I haven't touched it since. I have been meaning to get the index cards to do some outlining. Haven't done it yet. I will try to do it in this upcoming week. Uh, I'm not going to be doing a productivity vlog in that one, so I might not explore uh, writing in my upcoming vlog, but I will try to give you guys updates as we continue. If you guys want to see more like writing-centric, vlogs let me know i might be interested in doing that as a way to motivate me to put some more words on the page but regardless of the point i didn't get any more written but it was pretty freaking good progress if you ask me uh and then in regards to reading i have quite a few updates so let's get into it i'm gonna work my way backwards in regards to books that i finished and then i'll talk to you guys about the books that i'm currently in the middle of so we have freestyle by b page i read that on my kindle i started that middle of last month and got like 30% of the way through and then it's taken me quite a while to get through it but I enjoyed it I gave it a 3.5 out of 5 stars it's not a new favorite white shoes but I'm definitely curious to continue on with the series then I finished Shadows of You by Catherine Cowles I loved this book so freaking much it was beautiful it was wonderful it was amazing it was everything I could have wanted you guys saw the tears the emotions the happiness the joy it was incredible I'm so glad that I read it five stars a brand new favorite for this year for sure then I finished up Forget Me Not by Julie Soto I had a kind of taken a little bit of a break from reading this one in my previous vlog and picked it back up this week and read it and really really enjoyed it. I gave it a 4.5 out of 5. What? <laughs> I gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I really loved the story as a whole. I just think that there was a um, missing link when it came to the perspectives and only getting Elliot's perspective in the past timeline. But other than that, I loved it. It was such a great spring read and it's definitely a book that I will continue to recommend. I also finished House of Bane and Blood by Alex L. Menard. Uh, and I really enjoyed this one. This was a Peaky Blinders inspired fantasy romance and I had a good time with it. I gave it a four star. It was a solid read. It was one book that I definitely will think back on and have fond memories of. And I am very excited for the sequel that comes out in just a few weeks. And then let's talk about the two books that I am currently in the middle of and going to be making progress on throughout the week. I don't have an upcoming vlog that's going to feature these ones. So if you want to hear my thoughts, hopefully I'll go back to doing um, wrap ups. I haven't done wrap ups in a few months just because I haven't had the time to sit down and wrap up anything and I haven't really been doing sit down videos. But hopefully I can get back into that. And if you're interested in my thoughts, feel free to check out my wrap ups or my Goodreads. It's always linked down below. But I am currently rereading Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. If you guys want to know anything about this, I talk quite a bit about it in, in past vlogs on my channel, as well as I have a fully dedicated review, uh, spoilery and non-spoilery for these two Globe series. So if you want to hear more thoughts about Fourth Wing, it's available to find on my channel. But this is just a reread for me. Uh, I enjoyed my reread so far. I'm loving the book and I cannot wait to finish it up. And then last night, I'm very proud of myself because I did pick up and start Broken Perfect Lies by Katie Wismer, my next ebook that I have been uh, inclined to pick up, which is so exciting because usually I'm not super like about reading my physical reads, but I'm having a good time with this one. I am 100 pages into it. I got a good chunk of the way through yesterday. Although that being said, it is almost 400 pages. So I still have quite a chunk of reading still to do, but I made progress. And like I said before, progress is progress and I will take it. Um, but this one is like a Hannah Montana a bodyguard romance that I am enjoying. I'm curious to see where it's going to go. I feel like in the first 100 pages, we haven't gotten a ton of like romantic character development. So there's still a lot that could be done here in the next uh, almost 300 pages. So we'll see. I am curious. Uh, I'm not loving it as much as I have loved some of uh, uh, Katie's others, other works. Wow, I can't talk, but I am enjoying it. So we shall see. That is everything. All of the books that I was able to pick up um, this week and I will hopefully get all of them done. Well, the two that I'm reading. I still have four books that I am have over there and three more sitting on my cart that I need to read for this month. It's the 15th of the month, so I have time. I'm halfway through and I have quite a good chunk of books read, but I'm definitely pushing for an ambitious month of April, so we shall see. But here is my stack for the week. Not too dang bad, honestly. I... I'm definitely going to take this one as a huge win because I feel like it was a really successful week. If you compare this week to last week, I feel like I didn't read as much, but honestly, I got a good chunk of reading done and I am very, very proud of myself. Alongside the writing and organizing and all the other productive stuff I did during this week, it's a win. It is definitely a win. 
Alrighty friends, let me know if you read any of the books I talked about in this vlog. Feel free to let me know what you thought of them and let me know what you're currently reading. What's at the top of your mind, something that you're really excited about reading currently or something that you're going to be reading in the next couple weeks that you're very excited about. If you have any writing questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. I would love to chat with you there. If you made it to the end of this video, leave a pencil emoji or a pen emoji. Um, and that is it. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And of course, leave any comments, questions, suggestions in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.